You play all, in, 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 not only even in the summer, but all year. You're lifting all year. You're lifting in the summer. You give up your vacations. I was here on Christmas Eve, I think, lifting in the weight room. And you're working all year and you're just waiting for that moment where you can go out and prove what you've got. Show the team what you've got. You get younger, in a sense, but you're around young kids. And uh, these kids were really mature kids. I was pleased, really, with the seniors. Uh, we had 12 outstanding seniors. The football program here is incredible. Incredible coaches that teach you not only to get better as an athlete, but develop as a person. And um, it's an experience that I'll remember the rest of my life. You develop close friends that you wouldn't normally expect to. Play out on the field in a game. You just develop friendships that you couldn't expect in anything else. And it's just an experience you ought to have in your lifetime. Well, it's, it's, what you, I mean, it's what you live for. It's what our little kid dreams about. It's, it's, it. it's, it's the most fun you ever have in your life. Well, there's a feeling in the air Just like a Friday afternoon Yeah, you can go there if you want Though it fades too soon So go on Let it be It doesn't be Coming over me Seems like it's always understood This time of year Well, I know there's a reason to change Well, I know there's a time for us you Think about the good times And you live with all the bad And you can feel it in the air Feeling right this time of year Well, there's a football in the air A frosty blown field Yeah, and there's your first car on the road And the girl you steal So go on with yourself If there's a feeling that there's something else Seems like it's always understood This time of year Well, I know there's a reason This time of year Yeah, I know there's a time for us Think about the good times That you live with all the bad Time of year. Ah! Well, there's a feeling in the air, just like a Friday afternoon. Yeah, you can go there if you want Though it fades too soon So go on, let it be If there's a feeling coming over me Seems like it's always understood This time of year Well, I there's a reason to change Yeah, and I know there's a time for us You think about the good times You live with all the bad You can feel it in the air Yeah, I can feel it in the air time of year. 
Well, I, you know, and it's it's difficult because you're in it for about three or four weeks where you're you know, you're practicing against yourselves, and even though you have a scrimmage in there, it's it's sort of short. You don't know if everybody gets enough reps in there. So when you have that first Friday night, then you know that the season's going to get more regular for you. You know, you're going to have one week to prepare for the next game. Um, it's a relief. It's just incredible. I mean, Louisiana football, you said, was just, it's crazy with all the humidity and the mosquitoes and everything. And going to the fly every morning at 7 just to beat the heat. But, I mean, when, once you just get that scrimmage against Bell Chase, I mean, that was just so much fun. That That's just the pinnacle of Louisiana high school football. Just, you know, getting to go up against someone else, playing Bell Chase and that scrimmage, that was just huge. And then going on, beating McMain pretty well in our jamboree. Senior years, you know, it's been it's been awesome. I mean, I thought I've, I had a really good year playing football, and my teammates were, you know, they were all good guys, and they put up with my jokes and antics and all, you know, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I mean, it's been real special. I learned a lot about hard work and just winning and losing and what it takes to win. It's a lot of fun. Uh, um, it's best sport you can. They, that Newman offers, it's because of all, all the uh, uh, enthusiasm that goes into playing the game and stuff. And it's just a lot of fun being a part of the team.
been fun. Uh, I think high school wouldn't have been the same. You know, if I didn't play football, it wouldn't have been nearly as fun, and wouldn't have had any, you know, all the memories I've had from football. I think that I was going to leave Newman in eighth grade, and uh, the reason I stayed, only reason I stayed at Newman was because uh, of football. It's it's made me into who I am today in a lot of ways, and uh, I mean the camaraderie and and the friendship and the work ethic and all that comes out of it are it's impossible to even describe how much uh, it affects a person and how much it can be a part of you. Newman football is intrinsically me in every way. <laughs> all right, uh, You're about to tackle someone for a loss. What do you, what's he looking at through your face mask? <laughs> I guess I'd be like this. <laughs> I mean, get me out of here. <laughs>
think this senior class brought a lot of leadership because by us being all such close friends, we uh we we grouped together and I mean we just came together as a bunch. Oh man, these guys are just they're competitors. They don't quit. They're great leaders and they know how to win. They know how to keep they know how to keep us focused. They did it and five senior leaders like they did wouldn't have it any other way.
that offense, that first down was big. I don't care what you say, that first first down on that last series was big. But if we were going to give him the ball back, we weren't going to give it back with a lot of time. That's a hell of an outing. That's a hell of a way to come back and play hard. Good job. You never got down. It's a good win for us. Get ready next week to open up district at Fisher. We're going to continue rolling from here. We're going to get better every day. We're going to work harder every day. Guys, great win. I'm really proud of you. Everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a great thing that um, I could be a part of the tradition, uh, you know, the legacy that Newman has. Uh, my, my dad played football here, my brother did, and it's just following the footsteps that they they did. It uh, means a lot, it means everything to be some, a part of something so special. Well, I played Newman football uh, many more years ago than I care to admit, uh, and I think as much fun as I had playing, and particularly for Tony Reginelli, uh, it's been even more fun to watch my son Miles and my son Jack this year. Uh, Jack was a junior. He, he, he played uh, JV mostly as a freshman and a sophomore. Miles had four good years and Jack's had some good years and with one to go. <laughs>
played Fisher. I had a few catches. That was one of the first games where I got the ball a couple times and you know both of them got on the film and it's great you know when you're watching it before the game the next week you know kicking your butt and being like yes yeah, me I dominated. Hey guys listen up. I think last Saturday after the game when I spoke to you guys I said my piece. I think you know what I, where I'm coming from and what I stand for. I'm expecting you guys Go out and play a good, solid football game tonight. I'm going to the defensive special teams across the board for 48 minutes, and I don't care who's in the game. I don't care who's playing. We're going to play sharp. We are going to play sharp. I don't want any excuses tonight. Okay? Miles is in town. I told him to come talk to you guys before the game. I'm going to turn this over to Miles. We have a few minutes with you. Thanks, Coach. All right. Uh, I'm going to keep it short. It's Friday night. What more can I say? Those two words, I hear it. Anytime it's used, Friday night, and that's it. I tell you what, I've been gone for a while. I uh, went away, and I came back tonight, and I was up in the gym. The second I walked outside, felt that New Orleans humid air, and the fan, the drums going. I mean, it put me right back there, y'all. It was like I was in one of these uniforms getting ready to come out with y'all. And you don't know how badly I want to be there. I'll tell y'all the one thing about this sport and the camaraderie that I miss more than anything. It's this time right now where you're sitting around, you're a little jittery, you got goosebumps, you got ice in your veins, and you know you got that tension, that little nervous tension. You all have it right now. And I get that too when I watch football games, but I'll tell you the difference. You guys have the opportunity to go out on that field, take all this energy that you're feeling, harness it, and race into somebody and just unleash it on them. And that's something that I can never do again. That after this year, none of you will be able to do again for you seniors. Take everything that you have from this week of practice, the whole season, and the nervous tension you're feeling right now. When you go out on that field and you see one of those from St. Bernard, race into him so hard that he's going to wish he never met you. Because you know that you're better than him. And you know that deep inside, he knows that you're better than him too. I miss this, boys, more than anything. You all know it's true. You got a couple games left and then it's done for the seniors. Take advantage of everything. Take all that you're feeling right now. Put it together. And get the pants out of somebody. Come on, get up right now.
want to walk. You guys better get off and walk. But I'm just tackling them. I'm going to run out. Okay, listen to me. Watch the I want the stuff to go where the one would be. Come off the edge. Come off the edge. Cover two behind West St. John, I'd have to say. I had a team wise, it wasn't real good, but uh, I went up against a really good player, I thought, and pretty much dominated him from, you know, start to finish. My best memory of the season was, uh, I have to say, against West St. John. Uh, I caught a uh, long touchdown for a slant, uh, on a slant across the middle and just ran for the touchdown. Uh, I mean, Damien threw the ball right in there, and surprisingly enough, I burned all the West St. John guys. I really wasn't expecting to do that, but uh, I thought that was a really great move in the season. My dad wasn't not really a big football fan or anything, but you know, like when since I joined the team, he came out to most of the games, and uh, and it was really cool to have him out there. You know, even during the homecoming game when it was raining, you know, he's not a big fan of football, but you know, he came out and watched the team and watched me play. So it, that, was, that was really special.
Uh, there was nothing like it. The fans were going crazy. The seniors were pumped. I mean, they were, they were great leaders all year. And they just, we rallied behind them, and we really just took it to them in the second half in the pouring rain. This game was the most fun I think we've had in so long. Uh, the rain came down. It seemed like the rain got us pumped, and we just all, everything came together. We played together as a team. We were all out there having fun with the rain. The stands, the fans kept it, kept us in the game. They were going crazy and just having fun in the rain. It felt like kids. I can't tell you all the history between us and Beerus. I can't, I, I can't tell you all that. Do you know what I can tell you? Is that every guy that's ever worn this green and white is on this field with you right now. Because we know what it's like to play Beerus. We know what it's like to step out on the field against these guys. You guys are carrying our load. You guys are lifting our souls tonight. Don't let us down. Put your hands in here. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Come on. I want their butts, baby. I want their butts. What are you kidding? Yeah. Right, let's go, Green. Let's go, Cordes! <laughs>
I, I think the, the best moment and the, the moment that the kids felt the best about themselves was I went over Riverside and uh, just to look at their faces and their determination and how well prepared they were and how determined they were to win that football game, um, especially since we hadn't won up at Riverside in a while. Uh, I, I just like watching their faces um, more than anything. It's, it's, it's seeing them get the enjoyment of, of success. Well, I remember because we played them there my sophomore year, and it, they were really good. They beat us pretty good, and about the same thing. I just, so I wasn't. I, I came in there knowing it's going to be like that, but it was fun. Would you try to, to pass on to some of the other classmen about what it was going to be like for that game? Just that this is this is the biggest game. I mean, it, you don't you don't get much better than this. Beating Riverside at Riverside this year, just stomping on them. That was a lot of fun. Not even making it a close game, just. To make all their fans just just quiet, all their fans like that it was fun. Beating Riverside at Riverside, without a doubt, without a doubt. Watching their fans leave early that was that was the best feeling I think I've ever had playing football. We've been doing this for a long time, and finally got to put it to use where um, you know it, it wasn't just a touchdown in the front yard anymore. So uh, I remember walking out, and, you know, kind of. I remember being really, really excited and really, uh, you know, just fired up to have Peyton there and, and, and confident. I knew we were going to do something, uh, something memorable. Pass play, first play of the game, and I remember it was um, it was a bootleg left pass, and Cooper ran a post corner route, in one of his best routes, and I hit him on the money, no question about it, and he dropped it, and uh, and you can hear it on the high school films, you know, you can hear the crowd's reaction. It was yes, 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 oh, just flat out dropped it and I kind of prided myself on having great hands it didn't even set in I remember I walked to one end of the sideline and he walked to the other I mean, there was no communication until we got the ball back and started hooking up he went on to, to catch two touchdowns that night and um, it was a big win for us because Riverside had given us trouble but anytime for me it's my first game as a starter you get the win you get your first win you get your first touchdown a lot of first for me uh, first interception <laughs> Enough for them to hear. Please! 
takes to win in the playoffs. Guys, this is a great year. Eight and two regular season, five to go. Everybody yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I just remember telling him right before going into playoffs that it's, I mean, it's do or die now. And uh, now it's like none of the seniors are ready to lose yet. We want to keep playing as long as we can. And uh, it's up to them to step it up because I know all the seniors will step it up. But you got to play uh, 11 guys on offense, 11 guys on defense. And uh, it's important that the juniors and sophomores, all of them, everybody steps up to play together in the playoffs. <laughs>
stepped it up and I, I thought they did a good job of uh, of, uh, of, of stopping it. They, they don't throw the ball real well and they run right at you so when you're running so you you sort of you know have that down just to stop the run and uh, kids did a good job. Drive 80 yards for a touchdown wins championship. The only people that stopped us was us. We have to eliminate mistakes and play good, smart, hard nosed football. This is a great win. You got to get past the first one. Let's move on to the second one. Everybody else. Let's go. And then when my old younger brother played, those years when he was playing with Reggie Reginelli and some of those other great guys in the past. And I, last night I'm thinking about, man, all those great guys, all those great guys I played with, all those great guys that I busted my can out here on the field with, all those brothers of mine, I'm thinking, you know, I gotta let these guys know it. Let me, let, let me, let me give you some names. I'm gonna give you some names of great Newman football players. Steven Keppel, Harry Frampton, 
I can go down the whole list. Killian, the pair, John, Wood, Brett, Finger. Every single one of you guys is great. And whatever went on in the past, that's gone. The time is now. And I want it now. And I can be one greedy son of a gun when it comes to this game right here and involves you guys. I want it now. Now it's time to take it all away. It's my year to work for this team. It's my year to have a five-game second season. And why not us? Why not? We work hard. All summer, we work together. August, we had key, stifling meeting in Oregon Park when we started there. Then at school, with the mosquitoes and the damn West High and all of that stuff was being sprayed. We went through all of that. And you got to have a bunch of convention moment. You've earned this shot. You've earned it. The players before you began earning it. There's going to be a lot of you tonight. Watch my God. And they're going to be going toward you. They're going to remember every guy and every play that they played when they were in you. And that's the uniform that you're wearing right now. special thing playing high school football. There is nothing like it. Nor the sport, nor the team. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. Today, all of those previous years that you've been together. Take it one more step. Take it one more step. I'm not ready to finish playing football yet this year. I'm not ready to quit coaching. I'm ready to take it as far as I can go with it. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get here. You make sure you're willing to do whatever it takes. Don't give up. Play hard. Play smart. Eliminate mistakes. Go on stage and take it to them. Take it to them from the first whistle. I guarantee you, come out victorious tonight. Many memories that you will never forget. Stephen, real quick. Real quick. Uh, second round of the playoffs. Okay, good job. It's so good in the battle. Two choices. Live or die. We have two choices in the battle. Live another day.
can't believe it. Deep hard up, hot dog, and heck of a job. Offense scored early. Good job on the drives. Put him in the hole. But guys, this is how you win football games in the playoffs. Now we really have to focus this week. It's tighter. Quarterfinals, and we're practicing Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> We're just trying to tell the kids to go out. This is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. You're only in high school once. High school football is the best. It's so much different than at any other level. Um, you, you make friends and, and make lifetime friends. And uh, it's just a special, special time. And just told them that if you wanted it to be memorable, then go out and do it. And, and they, they did a good job of that. Especially late in the playoffs like this, staying mistake free, penalty free. Mistake free and penalty free. That's what's going to win the football game for you.
say just the other day when we were winning in that uh, regional game, I was very proud of you for being so far this season. I can't even tell you how much I respect what you did today, what you did this after halftime to battle back and stay in this football game. We overcame a lot of adversity today. We had a lot of injuries. We had some key injuries. But we didn't, we didn't make it an excuse. It wasn't an excuse to lose. It wasn't an excuse not to play well. We went out there and battled the whole way. We battled them down to the wire, down to the last second. It's all I asked of you before we started the game. And you gave me that. This was a wonderful, wonderful season for you. I hate to see it end on a loss. Only one team in this division is going to end with a win. That's a heck of a job, guys. I'm really proud of everybody up here. Here we go. Well, I knew we were going to. I, I had no doubt in my mind that we could come back. Oh, we need we need one play, one play. That's one play changes the game. I, I never gave up once that game. I was like interception. Oh well, we'll go back down and score again. And they score, we'll just score. It's football. That's how I play. Uh, that last touchdown pass was probably the most memorable moment I'll have here because it was the last pass I've thrown. I threw in my greeny jersey, and uh, it was to Phil also, who's one of my good friends, and that's just gonna be a moment I'll always remember. Once it was over, it was just the most dramatic thing. Um, it, the hardest thing for me to do probably in my entire life was to take my helmet off. I sat in the locker room and outside the locker room with my helmet on for probably an hour after the game, and I could not take it off. Uh, every once in a while, you just get one of those special groups, and uh, my seniors this year made the difference. Uh, they made it fun to coach, uh, made it fun to watch them play, and um, it was one of my more enjoyable years as a coach.